someday is kind of about, you know, your little rock star dreams when you're like 15 years old and you want to kind of just get out and get away from everything and, you know, party like a rock star and play music and just have way too much fun. It's all just about excess. That, that's what it's all about, the whole thing. Um, and it, it's actually, you know, in some ways kind of a little parody on it too, you know, because it's, it's, it just is. And then I'm Sorry is actually a really deep, important song, uh, for me anyhow. Um, a couple years ago, it just seemed like uh, everybody around me was dying. And uh, that song is about uh, just not being able to say the things that you wanted to say to all the people while you had a chance to while they were still around.
for about 10, 11 years, uh, doing a lot of different projects, and um, we just kind of, uh, the Fallen Idols have been around a long time, but not in this configuration. Uh, Kelly and I are the only ones left of the founding members, and uh, we brought CP on board uh, probably last April, and uh, then through a random wonderful uh, set of events, we got these guys, the the Duns in on the other side of the band and they completed the unit. Well generally most of our songs are just about where we've been. You know, catchy hooks that you know I was humming to myself and they just wouldn't leave my head and others are just about just life in general and and um, you know just things that people go through. I think that people can relate to to a lot of our music and where they are in their lives at particular times. We try to be as modern as we possibly can, but put a lot of classic uh, rock references in. Um, you know, we uh, 
used to be, you know, billed as Boise's Indigenous Guns and Roses. And we still kind of sound that way, but uh, with the addition of Mr. Mike, we're a whole lot more uh, modern now. And uh, uh, like I said, lots of classic rock influences, uh, hard rock, alternative. We like everything. That's a loaded question. Yeah, that's, that's a, everybody's got well, different takes on influence. I think that's why the idol sounds so unique. Everybody's got a different twist on things. Yeah, I like I like all the more modern, uh, you know, classic rock, G and R, uh, Skid Row, things like that. Uh, Kelly's a big Eagles and Henley fan, and uh, Chris listens to weird stuff like Joe Satriani and, <laughs> and uh, you know Wild, Zach Wilde and Sammy Hagar, and, and then over here on this side we got our Avenged Sevenfold camp and you know all that kind of stuff. And Trevor likes the Wasp and the Kiss and mostly '80s metal. When, yeah, '80s metal. So we we've got a lot of different influences, and I think that's what really colors our music. Uh, the first thing that Kelly and I do is we sit down with guitars. He's a guitarist too. And uh, the process has been, idea. yeah, <laughs> I've got an idea. And uh, we sit down and, and uh, if, if the idea actually fleshes out into something, you know, I'll start, uh, you know, improv vocals. Or maybe I've had an idea, you know, before. Um, Chris has uh, written some songs. It's kind of weird. He's, you know, been across the country and he wrote the same songs that we did when he came on board and just put everything together. The music just comes the way it comes and, and that's it got a really loyal, loyal set of fans. We've got a lot of really good friends, uh, some other bands that, that we played with for a long, long time. And, um, you know, we really enjoy uh, playing here in Boise. We really love the Knitting Factory. Um, you know, uh, there's a couple little bars. I have a little bar out in Payette that we play at, the Sundance. We played there for years. We were the house band way back when. And uh, that, one's, that one's just a fun club, whether there's anybody in it or not. I don't know why. Um, but we love Boise. Um, you know, uh, going out of state, you know, it, it's, it's harder because, you know, you don't have quite the fan base or the, the people to pull out, you know, and to the shows. But it, it's still a lot of fun, you know, no matter what. And usually we can turn a few people to the you know, dark side and bring some new Fallen <laughs> Idols fans on this. Um, we've been, Kelly and the rest of us, we've been working on uh, Urban Legends. Uh, it's a three-part box set, and um, it's uh, you know, there's about 60 songs on there. It's absolutely huge. It's fantastic. We're loving it. We engineered it all ourselves and wrote it all from scratch and the ground up. best place to go to see all uh, everything that's been going on with us is to hit us up on Facebook, especially uh, the Fallen Idols. we got a couple pages up there. We've got a band page. And a uh, uh, and another page just so that we can you know communicate back with our fans, and then of course reverbnation.com/slash the fallen idols is is uh, where you can catch all our music too. I'm just a lonely man in this rock band. I live on whiskey and Hollywood dreams.